So these tomatoes were started in a mini soil block, germinated on a heat mat, and they were moved up to the next size block, which I believe uh, would be the two inch. And then after they slowly outgrew those, I put them in these four inch pots. Now I rotate these trays every single day um, because they lean that way. See how this one's leaning this way? That's because the tray was turned the other way. So I've already rotated them for today. So now, I don't know about this homie. He might be down for, uh, for good. He might need some stakeage. But all these plants are going to go back towards the window following the light. Um, so these are the tomatoes. This is the ground cherry. It's, um, it's, like, it's like a tomato, but it comes in like a paper husk. I guess they fall onto the ground. They have like a really, really sweet flavor. I'm looking forward to uh, trying it. Now I'm gonna take you over into the other room and uh, for the other <clears throat> tomato update. So if anybody knows uh, why this happened, um, let me know, leave a little comment down below. And basically what happened was is that I over watered a few days ago and they uh, fell over. I don't know why. So we got the only thing that did different though was uh, was over water them, I guess. But yeah, so we have like 20 still standing, which is cool. I'm thinking about staking them up with a toothpick or something. I just really don't have anything on hand at the house and I haven't really thought of anything. Um, I guess I just thought of a toothpick. But yeah, so I know it may not look good, but I mean, these plants are still healthy and the tomato is a vine, so we just help these plants, you know, up like that, too, with the stake or whatnot. I don't want to bend it too much because I don't want to do some damage to the roots. But um, it's kind of it's kind of sad that they're all falling after like six weeks, you know, because all those were standing straight up like those, just to make that like if that wasn't clear enough. Um, but yeah, it's okay. So. Because they were all, all of these tomato plants were in three trays on that table, okay? And basically what happened was, is they got too big and they needed to be separated. They needed more room to grow so they could spread out and better airflow. So I ended up separating them onto just, they were only on four trays, one, two, three, four, just had them nice and spread out. And then they spread out more. And then I had them on five trays. And they were all doing good. And then I overwatered. And now they're falling over. So it's unfortunate. But uh, we got a few more over here on the table. We got my buddy coming in over here to take a look. Um, but yeah, and then we got Sweet Majorum. That's a French herb. Uh, sweet Thai Basil and Genovese basil. Six Rosa Bianca eggplant and four peppers. One sweet chocolate, one banana pepper, and two hot Hungarian wax peppers. So those will uh, be on the windowsill for the next six weeks or so, eventually growing up to something like that, except just uh, eggplant and peppers instead of uh, tomatoes. So one love wholeness, and this is the uh, tomato update.
got the full spectrum. You can go back and look at some of the other tomato update uh, videos if you feel called to and you'll be able to see what these uh, looked like when they were just little tiny seedlings. And I think I'm gonna wait one or two more weeks to get them outside. I'm pushing it still, even if I wait another two more weeks, but I'm pushing it by waiting one more week because they're gonna be wanting to outgrow these containers that they're in. So, they do make the four inch soil block, so you wouldn't have to put these in these containers, but I don't have that tool. I did try just making my own, but that would be a lot to make a four inch soil block, basically just like making a whole bunch of mini sand castles and then figuring out a way to get this size block to fit into your homemade four inch soil block. So that would have been a little frustrating. So that's why they're in these pots. And uh, yeah, so thanks for following along and stay tuned to see how these seven different varieties of tomatoes produce.